It is another steamy day across central and eastern Kentucky, but I've got a cold front with some big changes lurking. An ATV crash kills a 17-year-old girl and injures another teenager. The latest on the investigation ahead at 4. And Kentucky's attorney general is taking action against the owner of a central Kentucky cemetery claiming deceitful business practices. This is WKYT News at 4. Good afternoon to you. Welcome to WKYT News at 4. I'm Amber Philpott, and we welcome Andrea Walker to the news team. Thank you so much, Amber. I'm so excited to be back home in central Kentucky. Well, steamy temperatures continue here in the bluegrass, but changes are coming. Here is a live picture of downtown Lexington. If it's going to pull up there, maybe not. <laughs> it's behind us. Okay, actually, wonderful. Right Perfect. Cooler temperatures are on the way. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. And indeed, we are going to see those big changes coming as we get deeper into the week. Right now, we've got a little steamy action that is ongoing across the region. You notice the increase in humidity out there today. Temperatures generally running 80 to 85 into most areas, certainly feeling a little warmer than that because of the increase in humidity. 83 Lexington, just a smidge cooler than where we were 24 hours ago. Defender Radar Network, skies at any point have looked like they can try to open up on a thunderstorm or a two. And I still think. We squeeze out one or two over the course of the evening. Humid air right on top of the region now, but I'm tracking a big mess out across the Plain State. See this cold front that is heading our way as we go into later this week. Out ahead of that, the showers and the thunderstorm chances will really begin to ramp up over the next couple of days. Out there this evening, low 80s, smallest threat for a thunderstorm, still muggy, 70 or better by 11 o'clock into much of central and eastern Kentucky. When I come back in 15 minutes, we'll talk about that big cold front that is on the move. Brand new hour by hour forecast to finish out the work week. All right, thank you, Chris. We're learning more this afternoon about a teenager killed in an ATV crash in southern Kentucky on Monday night. We first told you about that accident last night at 11. The Laurel County coroner says 17 year old Gianna Bowles died after the four wheeler she was on crash. WKYT's Phil Pendleton has more on what happened from Laurel County. It's our top story at four. The crash happened at the end of Old South Whitley Road near Lilly about 7 o'clock Monday night. I'm told that the two teenagers on the ATV were coming down this hill just in front of me, and they tried to make a turn, and that's when they tumbled down this deep ditch, and they ended up in a creek. Now, the ATV was driven by a 17-year-old boy, but I'm told the vehicle was actually owned by Shanna Bowles, who died later at London St. Joseph Hospital. Friends tell me the teenager had complained before of the brakes not working right, but the accident is still under investigation by the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. They do not expect to file any charges. I'm told that Cheyenne would have been a senior at South Laurel High School. The boy that was driving the ATV apparently had just graduated from South Laurel High School. Both of them lived very close to where this tragedy happened. In Laurel County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Police say they believe that accident was just an accident. We're tracking a developing story out of southern Kentucky right now. A bad crash is expected to cause traffic trouble for several hours in Pulaski County. The emergency management director tells us three semi trucks and two cars were involved in the crash at the intersection of Kentucky 914 and 1247 south of Somerset. One person was flown out from the scene. At least two others were taken to the hospital. We're told the traffic could be impacted in that area for the next eight to ten hours. Kentucky's attorney general is suing the owner of a central Kentucky cemetery. People with loved ones buried at Crestlawn Cemetery in Scott County say headstones are in bad condition. They've seen the grass grow as high as 14 inches. One woman told us her family paid the cemetery $2,100 for an uncle's headstone more than a year ago, and it's still not in place. They haven't been able to get any answers from the cemetery's owner. It's disheartening. It's disrespectful. Um, and I think it's more than important, and I think it's wonderful that the community has finally come together to take this by the reins and say, hey, we're tired of this. The Scott County Sheriff's Office confirmed they have an open investigation regarding the cemetery. We'll have the latest on that investigation on WKYT News at 430. 
We told you about this story a little more than a week ago, and today, Hilda Avalar and her daughter will be reunited in Lexington after surviving a deadly crash in Texas. An accident claimed the lives of four other family members, Hilda's husband and three sons. The family was visiting relatives in Texas when the van they were driving was hit by an 18-wheeler. Hilda's husband, Israel, and their three sons, Kevin, Daniel, and Matthew, were all killed. Their 11-year-old daughter, Kimberly, Israel's mother, and Hilda were injured in that crash. Kimberly is already back here in Lexington at Kentucky Children's Hospital. The oldest daughter, Vivianne, was in Kentucky when that accident happened. She's now by her sister's side and soon will see her mother at Cardinal Hill. We are working on a number of other stories for you on WKYT starting at 4.30. Sam Dick joins us from the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Good afternoon. It is the season for mosquito bites. While they're typically just itchy and annoying, this year there is extra reason to be concerned. Some mosquitoes can spread the Zika virus, which has been linked to birth defects. So far, there's been no outbreak in the U.S., but experts with UK Healthcare say you should still be prepared. And while the risk for infection is low in Kentucky, UK Healthcare leaders say that 80% of people with Zika don't show any symptoms. This can be particularly dangerous for pregnant women. With more people going south for summer vacation, the risk for infection could go up. The CDC uh, has had the same recommendations for everybody, whether they are going to the Olympics or anything else, and that's to avoid travel if you're pregnant, uh, if you absolutely can't avoid it. And we'll have more from the experts on WKYT News coming up shortly at 5 o'clock. A watchdog group is calling for fines against the Cincinnati Zoo after a gorilla's death. Zoo officials shot the endangered animal to protect a four-year-old who had climbed into the exhibit. Stop Animal Exploitation says the incident shows the zoo's barriers are not adequate. And the group also claims to have proof the zoo is not up to date on safety restrictions. This isn't someone that came in with grappling hooks and ropes. And from what has been discussed in the news media, it didn't take this child that long to get through. So you tell me. If a four-year-old child can get through the physical barrier, is that a safe barrier? The U.S. Department of Agriculture says it will look into what happened. The Associated Press says it reviewed a federal inspection of the zoo's Gorilla World exhibit from April, and no violations were found. We'll have the very latest in a report from Cincinnati on WKYT News at 4.30, and the response from a wildlife sanctuary here in Kentucky on WKYT News at 5.30. That's a look at some of the news in progress. Amber and Andrea, back to you. Now to some stories making headlines across the nation at four. Saying the money has been paid out and listing all of the groups that received the money, Donald Trump announced he raised $5.6 million for veterans' charities during what turned out to be a testy news conference today at Trump Tower in New York. Diane Gallagher has this report. This is my check for a million dollars. Sent out last week to the Marine Corps Law Enforcement Foundation. It's just one of the 41 veterans groups listed by Donald Trump Tuesday, including the Fisher House, Navy SEALs, and Bob Woodruff Foundations. These are checks that have been delivered, that have been cashed. As recipients of money raised at a Trump rally held when the candidate boycotted a Fox News debate back in January. We just cracked, the sign was just given, we just cracked $6 million, right? Trump saying today that number actually is just slightly below the initial announcement. As of this moment, it's $5.6 million. But he touted that none of the money would go to, in his words, administrative cost. Still, when pressed on why it took so long to name the groups or to get the money to them, Trump turned testy. The press should be ashamed of themselves. I'm not looking for credit, but what I don't want is when I raise millions of dollars, have people say, like this sleazy guy right over here. The Republican admitting the contentious exchange could be a preview of a Trump White House. Is this what it's going to be like covering yeah, you if you're president? Yeah, it is. It's, let, let me tell you something. Have this kind I'm, of a, I'm a person. In the press room. Okay, yeah, it is going to be like this. Hillary Clinton's campaign released a statement saying, quote, nobody should be fooled by this stunt, only completed under immense pressure. The truth is, throughout this campaign and his entire career, he's shown veterans an incredible amount of disrespect. In Washington, Diane Gallagher. How early should you start saving for your child's college tuition? That's ahead in Money Watch. And Starbucks is looking to rule the cold coffee market this summer. More on the launch of their new Nitro Cold Brew next.
It's held over the Lazy Boy Memorial Day Sale. Everything's marked down for a limited time only. Get amazing savings store-wide on great-looking sofas, chairs, tables, and more. Plus special financing available. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. It's the final days of our Off to the Races sale here at One Day Bath by America's Window. Don't let these savings race by you. Update your bathroom affordably with any of our bath and shower designs. Our tub to shower conversion gives you a custom shower professionally installed in your existing bath space in as little as one day. Or choose a barrier free design for easy access. Plus, check out walk in tubs with hydrotherapy. Visit our showroom here in Lexington at 1190 East New Circle Road. Take your time browsing. We have 14 baths and showers on display. Now's a great time to call during our Off to the Races sale. Final days to save up to 20% on your new bath or shower. Ask about the zero down and zero interest option for 12 months and act now. Receive a $500 discount certificate good towards your next purchase. You're always a winner at One Day Bath by America's Window. It's the final days of your local Ford dealers Memorial Day All-Star event. Hurry in to save on America's best-selling brand. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 60 months on almost every Ford, plus up to $27.50 cash on select models, and make no payments for 90 days. Save big on a fantastic lineup of All-Stars. Final days, 0 for 60, and up to $27.50 cash. But hurry, it all ends this coming Tuesday. Tired of painting? Go Rhino, and you'll never have to paint again. Now you can have the guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for brick, stucco, wood, or aluminum. And Rhino Shield won't chip, crack, flake, or peel for home or business. Don't paint, don't vinyl. Go Rhino. Don't paint, don't vinyl. Go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. I'm concerned about nursing homes that have been cited for deficiencies, like failure to provide quality service or even proper medical treatment. Please, you have to look for signs of neglect or abuse. We have to protect our elderly. If you see signs of neglect or abuse, call us. Don't wait. Your loved one may not be able to ask for help. It's up to you to call. Call Hughes and Coleman right now, 800-800-4600. It's held over the Lazy Boy Memorial Day Sale. Everything's marked down for a limited time only. Get amazing savings store-wide on great-looking sofas, chairs, tables, and more. Plus special financing available. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Welcome back in. Parents, you can't start saving too early for your child's college fund. That begins today's Money Watch. According to the Institute for College Access and Success, the class of 2014 graduated with an average of nearly $29,000 of debt. So how should you start saving? Experts say put away 20% of your earned income. 10% goes toward your retirement, and the other 10% goes toward the future goal, including sending your kids to college. If you need a place to put your money, experts suggest state-sponsored investment accounts where your money grows tax-free. Forbes has ranked the worst and best female CEOs of S&P 500 companies by how their companies' stock performed. Deborah Cafaro of healthcare real estate company Ventus came out on top with more than 2,300 percent growth of shares. Mary Barr of GM was reported as the lowest performing female CEO. Members of the class of 2016 may be tempted to check out Pittsburgh, the Steel City topped Trulia and LinkedIn's Graduate Opportunity Index for getting high marks for entry level job openings and affordable rentals. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Microsoft are teaming up with the European Union to crack down on online hate speech. The internet giant signed up for a new set of rules designed to stop racist, violent, or illegal content from going viral. They agreed to review a majority of flagged content within 24 hours and then remove it if necessary. 
Starbucks is rolling out a new cold concoction for summer, Nitro Brew, a cold coffee infused with nitrogen and served through a tap like beer. CEO Howard Schultz says it almost comes out like a Guinness beer. Now the Nitro Brew is coming to 500 Starbucks stores across Seattle, New York, Chicago, Boston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Portland. The retailer is also introducing a new expanded cold bar menu at its 10,000th North American stores this summer. It's a benefit the whole family can enjoy. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about at McConathy Farm Horse Rescue today. It is steamy, ready to turn stormy. Then we get a cold front into town. I'll let you know what that means for the upcoming weekend in just a moment. Stay here. When severe storms roll in, we go to work to keep you and your family safe by calling a first alert severe weather day. Keeping you on top of the storms with continuous coverage on air on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. Plus an experienced weather team ready to alert you when you need to get out of harm's way. Keeping you safe this severe weather season, that's what we stand for. First alert severe weather days only on WKYT. I'm Richard Weber from Springhouse Gardens. Have you heard of native plants? They were plants that were here before Daniel Boone. Kentucky has a wide variety of beautiful and functional plants, and we can help you select just the right natives for your Kentucky Proud Garden. One day bath by America's window can give you the bathroom of your dreams, minus the hassles of a traditional remodel. Our bath and shower designs naturally resist mold and mildew, so our customers enjoy easy maintenance. I really enjoy the fact that it's easy to clean. You spray on the cleaner, leave it for a couple of minutes, and wipe, and you're done. Replace your old high-sided tub with a beautiful low step-in shower with our custom tub-to-shower conversion. Professionally installed in your existing bath space in as little as one day. Ask about barrier-free designs and walk-in tubs with hydrotherapy. Remember, visit our showroom and don't wait to call. Final days of our Off to the Races sale. Don't miss out on savings up to 20% on your new bath or shower. Ask about zero down and zero interest option for 12 months. And act now to receive a $500 dollar discount certificate good towards your next purchase you're always a winner at one day bath by america's window greatness isn't about creating one masterpiece and calling it a day it's about challenging yourself to create a masterpiece every time come celebrate a half century of innovations at the kawasaki golden anniversary sales event Save up to $2,500 plus 0% financing on select models at participating dealers. Visit Kawasaki.com to find a dealer near you. Visit Kawasaki of Jackson the weekend of June 11th to test drive a new Kawasaki. I had just gotten out of high school. Um, my father had passed away, and I kind of decided then that I wanted to be in the medical field. And one of my friends uh, attended Spencerian and that I worked with. I was working two jobs at the time. I work with seven other people in the laboratory that have actually graduated from Spencerian. I think it all comes back to the fact that all the instructors here have that experience, and they prepare us so well. Things can change for the better, and Spencerian College will help that change. Why native plants? They're adapted to our soils, tolerant of our climate, and they provide food and shelter for all the critters that call Kentucky home. So come see us at Springhouse Gardens, where buying plants is a walk in the park. We're Kentucky proud. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Hey, another nice day across central and eastern Kentucky. All of a sudden, we are doing something right, getting back-to-back -back very nice weather days across the good old Commonwealth of Kentucky. Yes, it's a little steamy, but hey, we're almost into summertime now. Summer, at least for the weather folks, starts tomorrow on the first day of June. Got a little early start on it over the past few days. Right now, 80 to 85 into most of central and eastern Kentucky. Throw the humidity into the mix. Feels a little steamier than that. We are fighting some clouds this afternoon, and if you just look out there, there's a little haze. It looks like at any point it could rain, but I'm not seeing a whole lot showing up. Humidity is low again at 38 percent, 83 degrees with winds coming at us from the northeast at around 7 miles per hour. Defender radar network mainly dry across the entire area. We're watching southeast for Kentucky. Similar to yesterday, you have the best chance of seeing a little pop-up shower or thunderstorm as we go through the next few hours. Overall, though, 
We're getting in on now that humid and warm flow coming from the southwest, at least at the surface. Those winds are going to begin to crank from the southwest over the next few days. Ahead of a cold front that has cool and chilly air behind it. That's what is heading our way as we get later this week, especially this weekend into next week. As we roll our way into the overnight and for the day tomorrow, we're going to see those temperatures that will be generally back into the 80s into much of central and eastern Kentucky. Tropical feel will continue. Storm or two around as we go into our Wednesday. Thursday's forecast, showers and thunderstorms that will be likely. Locally heavy rains possible by the time we hit Friday. A storm or two is still around. Cold front is right on our doorstep by that time. Hour by hour forecast out this evening. Temperatures dropping into the upper 60s by 11 o'clock or so for the overnight. We're into the 60 to 65 degree range. 70 already showing up by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Look at noon tomorrow. We get any sunshine. We're going to get sunshine. But if you get it for the bulk of the day, that temperature can make a run into the upper 80s, flirting with 90 before tomorrow is through. Southwesterly winds will continue to throw at least the threat for a thunderstorm around tomorrow night. End of the day on Thursday, you guessed it, it's more of the same. Scattered thunderstorms think that's a little underdone for the day on Thursday. And as we roll into Friday, you got it. More of the same, though temperatures start to slide a little bit by that time with those readings. That will continue to drop into the 70s by the weekend, and that will hang tough into the first half of next week. Right now, let's check on traffic and see what's going on. Here's Officer Don. Live look at Lexington rush, rush hour traffic this afternoon, Chris. The circle looks okay. No major issues popping up there. Overall view looks good, too. Even outbound Nicholasville Road, South Lime, showing some slowdowns toward downtown or coming from downtown, uh, but that's about it. As far as our drive times go from uh, to Nicholasville's 12 minutes, Georgetown 14, Paris will take 19. Now back to you in the studio. Pony rides, cart rides, games, and food sounds like a good way to spend a mm -hmm. Saturday. And the coolest part is you can be having fun while helping a great cause, too. Deanne Stevens is out and about today. She joins us from McConaughey Farm Horse Rescue with more. Hi, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are out here at McConaughey Farm preparing for a big event happening this weekend. What is McConaughey Farm Rescue Team, you ask? Morgan is with us. So I'm asking you, what is McConaughey Farm Rescue Team? McConaughey Farm is, um, well, obviously we're a rescue, so we take, in, uh, we take in horses that maybe need a little bit of help. We help some people as well. So, uh, yeah, we save horses and sometimes we save people too. Yeah, so here in Kentucky, saving horses, it's a big deal anywhere. But here, there's so many horses. Talk a bit about that and how you guys really are there for the rescue many times over and over again. Well, I mean, volunteer time is big. Um, so coming in and making sure that all the horses are handled and trained and they get their feet were done, we... Uh, we get their their vetting done, you know. Take care of all kinds of things. Who is this horse here? Oh, uh, this one here. This is o Oakley. He is an American paint horse. He's not he's not a rescue, but uh, he he kind of he kind of volunteers, if you will, with us by giving cart rides and pony rides and being a petting horse. So he's kind of a volunteer as well. He is great with the other rescue horses as well. We're gonna move over here to Miss Amanda, who has Levi and his ooh beautiful uh, halter there. Who's this? Bridal. This is this is Jake. Um, he is my personal horse. He also volunteers with Oakley here at the rescue. And Levi is one that we actually have for adoption right now. He is almost completed most of his training. So what does training entail for the horses? Um, well, when we got him in December, he was untouched as a year and a half old little colt. Yeah. Um, we have trained him to be haltered, walk on a lead rope, and he is working on finishing up his lunging so that he can become somebody's baby. So I love that you guys say your horses are also volunteers. It takes horses to help out when you're rescuing other animals, doesn't it? Yes. Um, Jake is one of the best teachers that I have for some of our younger guys. He keeps them in line and tells them how to act. Okay, Levi. Levi's like, get out of here, cameraman. Now, here's what's cool and what's happening here at McConaughey Farm Rescue. Uh, these guys, you're going to be able to meet them. They're doing this big benefit this weekend. Here's little Luke and mom Barbie. We're going to have the opportunity to introduce you to them coming up here at 450. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys. Can painkillers actually prolong your pain? We'll take a look coming up in Better Living. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $235 million, and Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $100 million. 
It's the final days of your local Ford dealer's Memorial Day All-Star event. Hurry in to save on America's best-selling brand. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 60 months on almost every Ford, plus up to $2,750 cash on select models, and make no payments for 90 days. Save big on a fantastic lineup of All-Stars. Final days, zero for 60, and up to 2750 cash. But hurry, it all ends this coming Tuesday. It's back and bigger than ever. Ashley Home Store's truckload sale. Load up on quality sleep and save up to $1,000 on Sealy Fosterpedic. This queen set now only $5.99. Save up to $600 on Select Stearns and Foster, Sealy Optimum, and Sealy Hybrid sets. Or pay no interest for eight years on Stearns and Foster and Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Queen mattresses start at $18 a month. Add a lifestyle base for just $8 a month. Savings you can haul away. The truckload sale is on now. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. There's still time left to call One Day Bath by America's Window to take advantage of the savings during dollar days. Throughout the Kentuckiana area, homeowners are learning just how affordable it is to have a new bath or shower. Visit our showroom. It's the big yellow building. You can't miss it. At 1190 East New Circle Road, we have 14 baths and showers on display. Update your old bath with a custom tub to shower conversion. It's our most popular design, allowing safe and easy access to bathe. Add a corner caddy for usable shelf space. Look at barrier free showers for easy wheelchair access and walk in tubs with hydrotherapy. But time's running out to call during dollar days for these savings. $1,200 off a new bath and $1,500 off a new shower. Great financing, low monthly payments. Last chance during this program to call. Act now to receive upgrades for $1 each with your bath or shower purchase. Call right now, 1-800-861-4153. Now it's time for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. Researchers at the University of Colorado found narcotic painkillers may actually prolong pain. Testing on lab rats suggests the recent rise in opioid prescriptions for humans may be making chronic pain worse and longer lasting rather than helping to diminish it. A handful of companies are now offering adults a new outdoor adventure. It's called Extreme Sandbox. Don Champion reports. This is not your typical construction site. It's a playground for adults called Extreme Sandbox. Okay, am I ready to swivel? Amy Clark took this excavator for a spin. <laughs> so what was it like? It was really fun, much more fun than I expected. It's down here. The company is the brainchild of Randy Stinger and his children. And the story is really simple. We were driving by a construction site several years ago, and my oldest, I think it was eight or nine at the time, he's like, Dad, wouldn't it be fun to go play in that stuff? I'm like, heck yeah. And that's really where the idea was born. With experts guiding the way, we're going to open that bucket up. People can operate all sorts of heavy equipment. Put the, uh, the teeth into the ground. Including me. I got a chance to dig in the dirt. <laughs> That's your first scoop of <laughs> Texas dirt here. Oh, yeah. Other companies have started similar operations across the country. Extreme Sandbox has two locations and plans to open more. It's not child's play. I mean, this is every guy's dream, right? But Dan Lowell says the experience brought him back to his childhood. Like being a kid again? Absolutely like being a kid again. <laughs> you got to love it. And Amy Clark might be ready for a new career. What's going to go through your mind now when you pass the construction site? Hey, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dirty business, but a growing number of people are digging it. Don Champion, CBS News, Pottsboro, Texas. Stegner says more corporate clients are using Extreme Sandbox for employee team building. Now let's head to Chris for another check of the weather. Yeah, looking good out there today. Those temperatures, not bad at all still. 80 to 85 in most areas. Notice how we have more sun in Jackson and London than what we have right now into Lexington and Frankfort getting more sun. A little bank of some clouds across parts of the Lexington area now, keeping that temperature at 83. Everybody else a little closer to the 85 degree mark. Overall, though, I don't think we can play. 
complain, uh, can complain too much given how cool and wet the month of May has been so far. Mm -hmm. It was a little muggy. I spent a lot of time outside mm -hmm. today. Yeah? <laughs> Moving, huh? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's always fun. Welcome, by the way. Good to have you on the Thank team Thank you now. so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. The news is just now getting started. Here's Sam Dick and Amber Philpot with what we're lurking on at 430.